Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle playing as Clan Scryer going up against Karak Ziflin, where the forces that we're going up against here wouldn't normally concern me that much if somebody had actually recruited a like half decent Scryer army. But this army here, I can I can kind of I hope that this is a Confederation army. I hope that somebody that he, that he confederated this army and just rolled with it, because this looks like it was auto generated by the AI. I, I can't think of <laughs> I can't think of anyone who would think to themselves on a legendary difficulty campaign with very hard battle difficulty, which this is on. You know what? What's a good unit I'll put in my army? Clan rats. Let me tell you something about clan rats. Clan rats are the most impotent unit in the Skaven roster on this particular difficulty because they have absolutely no killing potential because they've got like next to no armor piercing and no no stats right um they have low leadership so they're not even going to use all their stats for the majority of the battle uh they're so they're not good at holding the line they're not good at dishing out damage and you feel a good portion of your army with them so there's a good deal of just complete impotence in your army there uh we do have some good units but they're just not that many um rat ogres i find are not great against dwarfs but not terrible um it's just yeah, this is just not great. We'll just see what we can do with them. Anyway, we jump in here and see what we can do. Um, we've got a bit of food. I feel like I might need to order some Menace Belows. It's not going to change any of our stats here. We do have a nuke, which I'm probably going to need to use. Just because our army is so awful. Like, I'd rate this like 1 out of 10. It's so bad. you got to put some Rattling Guns into your army as Clan Scryer. Especially if you're going up against Dwarves. Like... As Skaven, dwarfs just should not be a problem for you. Basically, when you see a dwarf and army near you, you should just see it as, like, free food. Like, if you're competent with Skaven, you can take on a dwarf army twice your size, which seems weird. Um, but, yeah, you can. Because dwarfs just can't handle Skaven. As long as you recruit the right units, it's really important. So, this stuff here... Throw it in the trash. It's useless. We shouldn't use it, because if we do use it... We'll have the army losses inflicted on us. And there is literally no unit that we can go up against where these guys will do a good job. So you just, you just, you actually, sh you would be stronger on the campaign map if you disbanded them and just left your army smaller. Because that way the enemy will underestimate you a bit more and they might not have sent in that second army. Um... These ones are okay, but I'm going to keep them hidden for now. I, I'm not going to take a defensive position because we just don't have a good defensive position army. I mean, obviously these ones here have to. Um, but I'll just try and fire as much as I can and then just bail on it. You stay there, get them to fire as much as you possibly can. You try and hold them back for as long as possible. You... I don't know what to do with you. Just go, go hide over here for now. You stalk. Um, poison Wind Mortars, you're going to need to shoot and keep moving backwards. Although, we have to watch out for the artillery, so maybe I should use you later down the track. You can hide, so maybe... Maybe I'll leave you over here. Don't fire at will. We'll just use you later. Same thing with these ones here. I really wish you weren't caught on Force March. Because speed is going to be really important. Okay, I'm going to keep the clan... Uh, let's put the um, Rat Ogres over here. And uh, we'll just see how we go. Because, yeah, one of the big things about this army here, and the thing that I hate so much about it, is that it's not a good team. There's, like, no teamwork here. And I, when, I, when I'm playing Skaven, you've got to have good teamwork. So by getting the organ guns to fire at us, they're being left behind from their, the rest of their position. Which is really important here. We might get shot up a little bit. But that's okay. Difficult to dodge all these shots. Especially when we feel so sluggish. Don't want to summon the clan rats too early. use the nuke on. Those guns look pretty tasty. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I'll go for those guns. Not gonna wipe out four units just because they spread out wide. But I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, there's that, that, a good target there. Okay, we've taken out one organ gun with that. That's really good. Okay, rat ogres start running around this way. Okay, they're not going too wide. Not discovering us over here. Let's see, make sure that one gets wiped out. So far, I think this is actually going really well. Now we've got a uh, warp bomb as well. I probably should have used that one to get shot by the organ guns. Yeah, so far so good. Artillery's absolutely bombing them. Good. So get moving over here. If I see a good opportunity for a warp bomb, I'll definitely try to take it. But I'm not seeing it just yet. Love an arcane conduit. Okay, nope. Okay, how about assassin? You go sort that out over there. Since that's just going to sit there. We've also got plague, but I, I'm more concerned about delaying them as much as possible. Okay, could you shoot this here? How are we going? Yeah, because I wanted some of their units. So basically, what I'm trying to do here is just split their army up all over the place and make them as disorganized as possible by giving them units that they can't actually catch to deal with. Okay, that's... Yeah, they're too close over there now. Um, I'll, just, I'll just hold on to it then. Uh, okay. I'm running out of these clan rats. But man, the artillery's done an absolute number on them. Yeah, you guys. If I send them in to engage there, it's not going to work. This is, this is working out. We've almost managed to use up all of our ammunition as well. With the artillery. I just wish I could withdraw them off the battlefield. Because they're obviously going to be really slow. I'm going to have to push them much in the back and just hope that they rout. Yeah, see, they, they route before I can pop down the, uh, the warp bomb on them. But we do have this, and we'll chuck that right over there. Hopefully that'll actually do some damage. Wish I had a crown of command. Let's see, we've got some units chasing us over here. Alright, we're not going to get any more summons for a bit. Alright. Still can't warp. Oh, hang on, hang on. Am I going to be able to warp bomb that? Maybe. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, bunch of slayers. I'll take it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we're about to get hit over here. Try and buy myself a little bit more time to use up the artillery ammo. Okay. Okay, okay. I think this this initial part here went pretty well. Okay, just leave that. It used up all of its ammunition. I'm very happy with that, given the situation. Absolutely obliterated as many of their units as I could. Alright, try to get out of there now. I can't withdraw them off the battlefield, but the best I can hope to do is bring them over here so they... Because they're chicken shit cowards, uh, hopefully they'll run away pretty much straight away. <laughs> hopefully. Okay. We still got to get rid of this. How are you doing over here? Yeah, he's, he's getting there. He's getting there. See, I told you we don't need these fuckwits over here. Look how much we did with just three pieces of artillery and a spellcaster. Oh, God. The... The engineers getting caught by by slayers, unfortunately, because you know. Oh, hang on! Oh no, no, it is it is quite tired. They're probably gonna kill him. I can't do anything about it. I can't summon. Oh, I can summon this one. Well, I, but we'll see. We'll see. I might might actually be able to justify that. Okay, 
Oh, these slayers are a problem. I, I just can't outrun them, though. If we need to get our guy here off the battlefield, so be it. Okay, looks like the slayers are giving up on going after him. No, keep... No, 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 they haven't, actually. Okay, can we buy ourselves just a little bit more time with this? Need that guy to leave the battlefield. He's done his job, essentially. So these guys here, even though they're in the trees, they can't hide. Just get to the edge there, you'll be fine. Okay, the assassin did the job. Alright, there's... Alright, the, the organ guns have been sorted out, that's good. Now we can actually use our other missile units. Starting with the poison wind mortar. Right, looks like we got caught still. Try to get rid of as many of these slaves as I can. This guy's probably going to have to leave the battlefield. I don't think I'm going to be able to get him away to hide. He's just too slow. And that's our last mess below. Nor does he really... Hang on, let me have a look over here. Come on, come on, come on. Turn your, turn your back to them and run. Run, 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 run. Just leave. I don't need you to... to... Come on, come on, come on. Okay, he survived. Good. Okay, same thing with these ones here. Just try to leave. I, I can't withdraw them from the battlefield. They actually have to route. So what we want them to do is actually get attacked in the back. <laughs> I wish there was a little button here called be a coward and run. Same thing with this guy here. We just don't can't really make use of him anymore. I can't get away. So... Okay, we're pulling some of their units away. And since there's slayers here, I just I can't, I can't run away. Come on. Main thing here is to try to hope that we don't get whacked out with these units. That was a very close call with that engineer. So we'll just use our units as needed. Okay. So... Okay, this could be a good opportunity to charge at those Thunderers, actually. Because we got them a little bit tired. If we could lure them into here a little bit, because they're hidden at the moment. How are we going? Come on, just leave. Leave, 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 leave. Try to, like, run away from them so they're getting attacked in the back. Come on, leave. <laughs> just leave. Same thing with you, leave. I don't need the leadership. Alright, this one's speed is 40. So the uh, the biggest problem is definitely going to be the, uh, the Slayers. Leave. You did enough, you can leave. Okay, all the artillery's left now. Yeah, I think charging into that would still be a mistake. Alright, at least they don't have organ... Oh no, they've still actually got one organ gun left. Anyway, they don't see us over here. Let's see if I can get some damage on that... God, would you stop being so brave and just leave? What kind of rat are you? <laughs> Go! Just leave. I don't need you anymore. Leave the battlefield. Why does he press withdraw? You're right! Why don't I press withdraw? <laughs> Come on. Uh, I'm trying to click on the ground so that he... Um, I don't want this because it'll increase his leadership. I need him to leave. How are we going over here? Doing a bit of damage. Uh, okay, good. He, he left. Could you actually hit that organ gun? Uh, yeah. Hit that there. Before it shoots at us. Because if I just do a little bit more damage to it, it might actually... Get it to wrap. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, keep these guys here. That's fine. Thin that out. All right, make another run for it over here. What we need to do is go for isolated units as much as possible. 
Alright, so their speed's 40. Like I said, Slayers are going to be the biggest problem for them. Alright, we got a whole bunch of fresh clan rats here, which we definitely shouldn't have used at the beginning of the battle, but now actually it's looking a little bit enticing. If we could rush at the Iron Drake's troll hammer, that could work. Um, the Death Globe Bombardiers would definitely do a good job, as long as they're just shooting into, like, melee infantry. It's now the guns that are my biggest concern that I want to get rid of. I need them to clump up. Okay, luckily they're quite tired now as well. None of the Slayers are over here. So, he's done a bit of damage. He's just feeling a bit sluggish. Okay, now with this one here... Alright, go for that organ gun so they don't... Oh, I think they went back on another artillery piece. Okay, okay. Now let's bring these guys out here so that it draws some of their attention away here because we've got too much coming at us. I might be able to use this guy to tank them. And bomb on top of him a little bit. And these ones come around over here. Like I said, we just want to split them up into unfavorable positions as much as possible. Just try to get good engagements. Even if it ends up us getting routed or whatever, as long as we do more damage to them than they do to us. That's really important. That's why you need to not use the clan rats, because they never do more damage. Alright, fighting in the trees here will be good. Okay, now I don't actually want to engage with them, I just want them to see where we are, that's all. Oh, this guy's got warpstone armor. Nice. Good, they're paying a little bit more attention this to this now, because instead of firing at us, they're... No, they are trying to fire at us. Doesn't look like this guy's going to get to use all of his ammo. Come on, hold them back over here. Okay, good, we took out that last organ gun. Uh, actually, you know what? Come over here, we might actually be able to win this if you guys can make it over here fast enough. Yeah, the, the poison wind mortars, they're, they're scuffed here. Yep, that's too late. So they did some damage, but not as much as I would have liked. I gotta get this guy out of here now. Looks like he's gonna rat as well. The leadership penalty from the Lord leaving should have already passed. Yeah, it has. I don't think I can get this guy out of there. Alright, now these ones over here. Let's start working towards the remnants from this side. Yeah, I can't use that on any of these units. Thing is, all of these clan rats just fighting one dwarf warrior. Just one will lose. Okay, that guy did a decent job. I think one of the poorest engagements we've made so far was actually the, the Poison Wind Mortars. I really would have liked them to do more damage, but because of them being the enemy being spread out, just can't really get some good engagements there. And because they're tired, they, they just got caught. Okay. Now we're, we don't have a lot of range, so that's a problem. Because I really want to get the... Uh, the Death Glow Bombardiers to get at the Dwarf Warriors, but I don't want to go anywhere near their fucking missile units. So I want to try to get these ones here to get their attention so that these ones can go and get uh, favorable engagements. Could charge with those Troll Helmet torpedoes, but let's just keep them a little bit away from here. Also got the flamethrower. Alright, go for it. I think we can manage that. 
So their range is 94, and they range... Okay, we outrange them by a little bit, but they'll do more damage to us. Yeah, we got a few shots in. But because they're all thinned out, shouldn't be so bad. Main thing here, going for their uh, melee... Oh, God. Fucking... Hid right in front of us. Okay, good. Two troll hammer torpedoes gone. Took a little bit of damage, nothing major. Just ignore the heroes. Good, that one's wiped out. Get it out of there. Now, most of our balance of power actually lies right here, so I'm just hoping they actually that's where they send all their troops. And I'm going to try to avoid them as much as possible. Uh, I don't, I don't want to fight you. They just dish out way too much damage. I need the, uh, the rat ogres to get them. Okay, let's just run back a little bit. Maybe even try to get back into the forest there. I need the rat ogres to get rid of their bloody troll hammer torpedoes. Oh, they've got slayers here. Oh, man, they've got a real killer combination against us. This is a shit army. Because our forces are just not good at wiping out every last one of their units. Almost done it. They can actually beat that, but it still wouldn't necessarily be a favorable engagement, so just keep them in reserve a bit longer. Alright, good. We finally got rid of that Slayer. And we're doing a bit of damage to the Iron Drakes. But yeah, they dish out way more damage to us than we do to them. Okay, this is looking alright. This is looking alright here. Alright, no, that's not going to do any damage to them because they are fire resistant. Okay, these guys here are doing a good job. So yeah, these ones here should take out damage units. They're pretty good at that. Good, and like I said, we wanted these ones to take out their infantry. They're doing a good job of that. And as much as possible, don't use these. <laughs> It'll only cement our defeat if we do it. Try to keep as many of their units distracted as possible and all over the place so we can take them out just a little bit at a time. Good, they've all gotten really useful kills there. Okay, I'm going to put them back in the forest. We repelled this because I just want to draw them away. Yeah, they did a good job there. I'm happy with that. Alright, I need to go and look for stragglers for these guys to take out. Like like this, for example, but they need to be isolated. These ones here should not be fighting any melee infantry. Basically, they should try to take out the troll hammer torpedoes and guns. These guys here should try to take out the missile inf uh, the melee infantry. And these guys here should do nothing. Okay, let's try to lure like one or two units over here. Hopefully they just send melee infantry. Okay, they're starting to get a little bit more organized now, which isn't good. We should not charge into that. It would not be favorable. But you outnumber them! Yeah, these guys here have absolutely no killing potential against the dwarves. Absolutely none. So hopefully they send this one over here. Or not. Some of our guys over there hid. Thunderers. The problem here with the Thunderers is the outrangers. And it's the melee infantry that I want to come over here.
Yeah, stay away from that gun. While these guys here could easily take out individual gunners, if we go charge in there, other gunners will catch up and shoot us while we're still finishing it off. It won't be a good idea. Okay, you guys come back over here. They're all hidden. We've got to split them up again. They're getting too organized. Because, yeah, at this point here, if we just charge in there, probably we'll lose. Or at the very least, we'll win, but take monstrous cav uh, casualties. Alright, this is good. This is good. Okay, you guys both hide in there. I'm going to go after that gunner. And it's an Iron Drake as well. That's good. They'll, they'll take it out quickly. That's it, because I can't see us there. Draw them back this way. Just I'm just using them as bait, that's all. Alright, your ass is mine. Yeah, it'll do a bit of damage to us, but we do way more to them than that. That's... There we go, we got the yummy losses. Well, how about that? I could have just charged in. Uh, there must be... Yeah, there's like a couple of Slayers left. And it was all just about making sure that we got as much favorable engagements as possible. Like I said, there was one unit that didn't really do as much as it could have, and that was the... Um, the poison wind water, even though it got like 10,000 damage, it could have done a lot more. Now, I think no units got wiped out. Yeah, nobody got wiped out. They have the tiniest sliver of health. So we might be able to recover them entirely. Oh, look at them. They only took one casualty. How about that? Yeah, the damage was very minimal. Apart from the heroes, that's pretty bad damage. But I think he's in friendly territory. Like, as long as they don't die, that's that's the main thing there. And, yeah, we can recover a fair bit with that. And that'll recover a lot of the food that we spent on the Menace Belows. And, yeah, you are in friendly territory. But this army here needs some serious reforms. Like, get get these clan rats out of the army. You know, using units as, um, if, if the only use of a unit is just to lure an enemy in one direction or another, it's not good enough. Especially when the Skaven have so... They should really be focusing on damage dealers, not defensive garbage like that. And they're not even good defensive garbage. See, the dwarves, they've got good defensive garbage. High leadership, high melee defense. But anyway, we got through it, and the army's in just about perfect shape apart from the heroes. Uh, let's have a look at how you've leveled him up. Yeah, yeah, for a heroic victory, he didn't get full level up. This guy here. That would be very useful, because speed would have been very helpful to keep this guy out of that, uh, that combat. But, you know, none of them are dead now. These guys are all good. Uh, but yeah, you want to get rid of this. As quickly as possible. Doesn't look like it's a confederation army. Let's have a look at some. Oh my god. Are you are you trying to make me sick? <laughs> ah, look, he's got some rattling guns in there, right? It's just. <laughs> what is this? It's so disgusting. Oh, you got two armies. Ugh. Ugh. It's just. Oh, just yuck, yucky poo. Just very yucky campaign. Ugh. Don't like this. Not uniform, not structured, all over the place. Ugh. Oh, well, it's your campaign. You do whatever you want with it. But anyway, we got through that area there. Difficult army to use that one. But it, when it comes down to it, the, the main reason we were able to win was by not using bad units and only using the good units. The idea that you should use your entire army to try to win battles, especially when you're outpowered, uh, and you're playing on very high battle difficulty, is one of the biggest mistakes and most common mistakes that people make. The idea that you should use your entire army all at once. Um, it is very important, if you've got units that can get no good engagements, to put them in reserve to, or to hide them as much as possible. Because the way that the game works, and I've said this many times before, is that you win or lose battles based on how good your engagements are, not necessarily on your remaining strength or the enemy's remaining strength. 
Uh, it's more about, you know, how much damage you did compared to how much damage you could do to them. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this guy needs to seriously reform his armies. <laughs> Big time. Go go and get some uh, some more rattling guns and gisales. Uh, this, like, this one here is not so bad, but it's still... It's, oof, it's just... It's gross. But anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye. Weaklings detect.